Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, you'll see how you can route your traffic to Amazon API Gateway API using custom domain name. We'll follow this diagram. Here, my application is deployed in Fargate and it is accessible through network load balancer on port 8080 and API Gateway is integrated with network load balancer using private link. So right now my application is deployed and is accessible through API Gateway using this kind of link which has a big name but I would like to provide my customers or my clients a small name something like api.raviblog.click and we would like to see how we can set that so that clients don't need to follow this big link to access my API. And this we can achieve using the feature of API Gateway where we can attach it to a custom domain name and then the custom domain name we can make it accessible through Route 53. So let's get started. So let's go to AWS console and go to API Gateway. And you see here I have this test API which is REST API. If I click in it, I have already created some resources like slash and slash articles and get methods for them. I also have authorizer because my endpoints have to be authorized using Lambda. So without that, you cannot access them. Also, I have deployed it into V1 stage and that's where I get this link through which I can access my application. So I will use Postman to show how I can access using that API Gateway link. This is API Gateway link. I have created a get request here. And if I run this, it takes me to the home page. Similarly, I have another endpoint to get articles. So if you see here, v1 slash articles, I want to get that. And because this endpoint you can access only if you have authorized. So these are the keys which I am passing, which Lambda will authorize it. And if I run this again, so you can see it has come back with status to one at go. Now this API gateway is accessible using this big URL, but I would like to use custom name which I can provide to my client. So let's see how we can create a custom domain name now. So as I have shown you earlier, I would like the custom domain name something api.raviblog.click. So if I go back to API Gateway, then click on custom domain names and create, type the custom domain name. And minimum TLS, I, I will go with TLS 1.2. Endpoint configuration, you can use regional or edge optimized. Uh, for this demo, I will choose regional. And ACM certificate, yes, you need a certificate also, which you can actually request on ACM in AWS. I have already requested, but I will show you how that is done in a bit. So this one is raviblog.click and it's a wildcard certificate. So I will select this and create domain name. So domain name is created now. Now go to API mappings, configure API mappings, add and select your API and then the stage. So V1 stage path is optional, leave it, save, save. So custom domain name is created now. Now we'll go to route 53 and ACM to show how you have to request a certificate and what you have to do in route 53. So firstly, we'll go to ACM and you can use request here to request for a certificate. This is what I have created here. Once request is placed, you have to create a record in route 53. So C name and C name value. This is what you have to create in your domain. Now for me, my domain raviblog.click is with Route 53 with AWS. That's why it is straightforward. In case your domain name is with some other provider, then the steps little bit change, but still it is possible to do the same stuff. So let's go to Route 53 and see the domain. So let's go to Route 53 now and in dashboard, here you see I have already registered this domain and I have created a hosted zone raviblog.click with your domain you will get these two records created by default name server and SOA and when you will request for your certificate it will create this record for the certificate now here we'll create one more record for our custom domain which we created as api.raviblog.click record type will keep it as a record we'll create alias route traffic to api gateway api region is southeast to and endpoint so it will automatically show the api gateway endpoint here because we have created a custom domain name in api and attached with the api 
and routing policy you can choose whatever you want I will keep it simple routing create record that's it so now our custom domain should be ready to access our application endpoint now this one again we'll try through postman so in postman I have created this custom domain get request and here you see the request is only to the domain so if you see I am not passing the stage name whereas if I want to access through API gateway URL I need to pass the stage name as well but with custom domain I don't need so I will just click send and this works fine and if I want to read the articles then custom domain slash articles and you get the results here now in case you want to publish another endpoint for your API how that is possible or how we have to do that let's see so we'll go to API gateway to the API test API resources and I want to create another resource for post so I want to post an article so post create this resource and create a method so let's be post now here again I will select VPC link use proxy integration method is post VPC link again my private link and endpoint now this endpoint will be the network load balancer endpoint port 8080 and method to access it so it will be slash article as endpoint save if you see here in gets because it was slash articles so endpoint URL will be 8080 slash articles if your container is running on port 80 then keep this as port 80 now this method is added so we'll deploy to v1 we'll go back to postman and try to access so post article first let's try to access using api gateway link and let's see whether we can post a new article so 5 I would like to post this new one just making some data changes send and it's 200 status code so it worked fine it seems let's uh, read it and see whether it shows up there and if you see here it's added 200 status code now let's see with a custom domain name slash article if you want to add another article using custom domain so 7 we'll just make some changes to the data send status code is 200 it's added using custom link I would like to read back all the articles and you can see it's added here so you can see now it's so easy to route your traffic to your API gateway API using custom domain name and route 53 I hope this helps you to set up your environment that's it for this session and we'll see you in the next one thank you